So in this video, I'm going to take you through um, using the georeferencing tool uh, within Trimble Business Centre. So in the Project Explorer here, I can see that I've um, imported a, a TDX file and I've also imported a, a CSV file that contains the, the, the targets, um, the coordinates of the targets that I'm going to use here for the, for the georeferencing. So what I'm going to do here is under the Point Cloud tab, we've got the option to georeference scans. Under my selection here I have basically all setups that's going to be using everything um, for the georeferencing. Down to define registration, what I can do is I can point pick. So I have the point ID here and then the scan point. If I go into my views, Generate a, a new station view. If I go to my plan view here, I'm just going to pan around until I can find my control points. So in this case, um, it's looking for the point first, so I'm going to pick T22, my control point. And then it's looking for me to add in um, a point on the scan. So I'm going to use station view here of T22. Highlight this here and then I can pick the center of the, the target. So I'm going to move on and pick the next target. So I'm going to pick T23. And again, if I'm going to get my station view. Now, if I um, had another station view, I can pan through them here so I can switch to another station view if it's closer. But for this one here, I'm just going to use the same T23. And then you'll see it will start to generate these residuals. Move on to my last target here. T24, and again pick the scan point. Now I could pick it here, or <clears throat> another way I've got of uh, doing this is I can use the, the limit boxes, so I can create a, create a 3D view. What I could do is uh, set a limit box. Use some of these handles just to just to hold my in a specific target. And again, I'm going to pick the scan point. So see here, then it, we've now got three pairs. It gives us a residual for each pair. And then we can go ahead and geo-reference. Go back out to our plan view. We'll now see that the, our scans and our control points are now both in the same position.